We're going to start our new unit on magnetism and static electricity, first of all by just talking about what a magnet is. And when we talk about magnets, most people have seen a magnet be able to pick up a paper clip or small metal objects. But magnets actually represent a type of force called electromagnetism. And electromagnetism and gravitational forces are basically the two major forces in our universe. Most things that we see happening in some way, shape, or form can be attributed to one of those. And magnetism is a big part of that. But when we talk about what a magnet actually is, magnets, whether it be a tiny little magnet that just might pick up a paper clip or giant electromagnets that you would use to lift cars and large items in a scrapyard, all magnets have three characteristics in common. The first characteristic that every magnet has, every magnet must produce a magnetic field. That's just this basically invisible lines of force that surround the magnet that are able to allow it to move certain objects. The second characteristic that all mag magnets have is they pull on other ferromagnetic materials. And we'll be talking about ferromagnetic materials later and exactly what that means. But the third characteristic of magnets is that any magnet can attract or repel another magnet. Most people have probably stuck magnets together before and you see, well, these magnets stick together, but sometimes you may try to put two magnets together and it wants to push away, it doesn't want to stick. And that's because all magnets have the ability to attract any other magnet, but they can also repel other magnets, depending on some situations we'll talk about a little later in the unit. I do want to talk a little bit today about ferromagnetic materials, though, because that's a very important characteristic of a magnet, and it's also a very common misconception that people have. Usually, if you ask someone what a magnet is, they'll say, oh, a magnet's something that picks up metal. But if we try to pick up aluminum or brass or copper or many types of metal, the magnet won't pick it up. Magnets attract to certain materials that have certain properties, and we call these ferromagnetic materials. But that generally refers to iron or something containing iron, but also elements such as nickel and cobalt. And when we look at the periodic table, there's dozens of different metals that exist in the universe. But of all of these different types of metals that are found on the periodic table, only those few of them are actually attracted to a magnet. So it's actually more accurate to say that most metals do not attract to a magnet. 